Hello, hello, hello. I have arrived. Um, gonna kill all the squirrels? Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, to be fair, I didn't kill the squirrels. <laughs> With how I've been rolling in this game, I honestly don't think I... Like, every success has been met with an even greater failure. So, I would have had to have gauged... I probably would have failed it. I'm not very dexterous. Even with a 15, I feel like somehow I would still roll like a 2. <laughs> I don't think I had any bardic inspirations. I can't even inspire myself, I don't think. I know that's how D&D works, but... As Mage Hand has shown! Clearly, they're homebrewing some stuff. That will forever be the thing I bring up. They've cheated me. They've cheated me out of Mage Hand. <laughs> I'll probably... Because I think I can still learn more cantrips later. I'll probably pick it up later. Which is why I wasn't going to make a huge deal. About, um... You know, respecking When we were having that one glitch. <laughs> But, uh, because as we've learned, there's not a lot of cantrips for Bard, which I thought there were more, but I guess it is, uh, it, it is just, uh, you know, player handbook. Just kill all the halflings. Well, that would definitely make the game a lot more awkward. <laughs> We find out that our host is just like, okay, you're in my world. Uh, <laughs> I'm willing to sacrifice any and all of you. <laughs> that would be very interesting if they did in this game, uh, re-rolling. But, uh... I guess that would make it incredibly annoying to, to complete the game if it was just like um, every time you died, it was like, oh, well, you gotta, <laughs> gotta roll a new guy. <laughs> all that reputation that you've earned, all that stuff, all down the drain. It makes more sense when you have four players. Um to re-roll, rather than like, oh, I'm playing solo. I could see it for like the custom multiplayer guys. True, yeah. Well, yeah, your companions, the, uh, not, not like the origin characters, but just like your, like, um, yeah, your, like, side mercenary dudes. I think it's a bit too story focused to allow reroll because you gotta explain how X person got a mind flare to. Yeah, there'd be like a horde of people just being like, oh, oh man, I got this mind flare, Dad Bull too. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> There's a few nuances in this game that, like, as a avid D and D fan, uh, it it does kind of like. It plucks a couple nerves. Uh, one, I think we kind of discussed post last stream of just like the game kind of encourages violence a lot. Like it, it, it kind of treats this less like D and D and more or less like a min maxer's dream, which is a little ironic. <laughs> uh. Simple. Everyone was captured by mind flayers. Clearly, how else do you split? Uh, even explain. Wall Gale got it. I still find that funny. I mean, yeah, like Gale's is like, yes, I'm a master arch mage. I cast my level one spell. <laughs> 
I guess they hawk it up as the whole, like, arcane hunger bit of just like, ah, oh, it like sapped me dry. A demon fighter. Yeah. They were really fast at applying that tadpole when they got, uh, Karlak. They teleported to the Nine Hells and just... <laughs> <laughs> Immediately slurped her up, jammed a, a tadpole in her, and was like, yep, there we go. <laughs> no one makes, uh, really makes sense, a Starian vampire spawn at level one. That's true. A Starian's another weird one where, uh, I would have thought that he would have got some benefits, like wall climbing, because of being a vampire, but... He, he doesn't have anything vampiric except for all the negatives. <laughs> oh, the sun! Oh, I have a tadpole. It's gone now. The larger-than-life uh, backstories bug me. Being level one. He does get a special ability when he reveals himself. I get Okay, I guess, yeah, that's fair. Like, if he... If he reveals himself, like, obviously, yeah, he would start to express more of the, uh, abilities. But RNG in this place <laughs> is not allowing it. It's because there's too many of us. The, the larger-than-life backstories are a bit of a funny thing to me, because I feel like most people suffer from that on the tabletop where they're like, ah, I'm a master wizard. And it's like, well, your character's a level one. So unless you've mastered the art of, you know, fire bolt, <laughs> it is very amusing. The only way that you can do a larger than life story is if it explains why you've regressed. Um, like, if Gale did say that, which I'm sure he probably does, but like, ah, oh, I used to be an Archmage, but ever since this thing happened, I can't do anything. Uh, give it time and you might make Karlak angry demon hunter barbarian. True. I'm waiting for the moment that we, like, agitate someone too much. <laughs> <laughs> The Dark Urge makes perfect sense, because they forgot everything from the past. Exactly! Like, yeah, like... If you're gonna make a larger-than-life backstory, it has to have something that explains why you're a schmuck. <laughs> if you were the great, ferocious Dragon Slayer, you know... Dragon Slayer 9000, um... You know... I don't know, maybe you lost an arm and it's like, you're like Jamie Lannister now, where you're like, I have to retrain myself. But you can't just come out the gate being like, yeah, I was freaking Zariel's like, main man. Also, I have an engine in me that just, you know, I don't know, freaking makes me super good at raging and fiery hot. <laughs> And it's like, okay, so where are the downsides? <laughs> uh, I mean, Gale might make sense if the thing in him... Uh, if the thing in him makes his magic, so he has to resort to feeding it artifacts. So now he's feeding it to regain his own strength. Exactly, like, yeah, like... And maybe he does explain that. It's kind of hard to stick with the conversations in a multiplayer group because somebody might talk to him while you're, like, looking through your inventory. I don't know if he did say it. Uh, he might say it later. <laughs> very hot. <laughs> it is very amusing, though, on how Karlak so far seems to be the most, like, level-headed. But I guess when you throw that many negatives of, like, yeah, I have an infernal engine, I worked for Satan, uh, I was in literal hell. Uh, let me, let's see. I probably did some horrendous things. Also, I'm a douche. Like, you know, like, you gotta change one of those to be a positive. <laughs> I suppose in my personal playthrough, I'll find out. Shadowheart is pretty level-headed. She's just a compulsive liar. Eh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's fair. 
Shadow Heart does seem pretty chill. I think Shadow Heart to me makes the most sense because she doesn't just overly share. Because they've always given you the chance to like ask her and push the uh, buttons, but like she doesn't like it clearly. She's very like, I don't want to talk about it. You have to kind of get her on her terms to like come out. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, I'll accept that. Astarian, though, yeah, he's just like, Oh, I'm not a vampire. And then he pulls out his blood bank in camp. His bloody mug. Oh. <laughs> All these people would be tasty snacks. Oh. <laughs> it's like... Hmm, I wonder what a Starian's deal is. <laughs> I'd say if you lost your memories, I'd be a compulsive liar too. Like, not remembering anything. Wait, I like cupcakes. I did not know that. I don't think Shadow Heart's exactly like that. I think she's she knows more than she's letting on. The Dark Urge might be like that, though. Secretly, I urged for baked goods. Now I urge for murder. <laughs> uh, I'm 100% convinced she's a Saloon. Saloon I, I don't know how they pronounce it. Saloon uh, worshiper, but I suppose we will see. I, th I mean, yeah, I think she... I think that's the thing, is that, like, she was... And then she, yeah, she got, like, magic mumbo-jumboed. Because she kind of gives that vibe of, like... From what I remember in Early Access, she gave that vibe of, like, I remember being like this, and then I went a, a, through a ritual, and now I done forgot everything. <laughs> like, I done forgot... Saloon and whatever. It's hard to remember. I, I never played a ton of early access for this exact reason. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like that's how the Dark Urge works, though. That escalated quickly. I mean... Uh... Like, Dark Urge is just like, I must murder. And it's like, why? <laughs> What the heck, man? What's your deal? <laughs> like, uh, it never made sense to me why a Shar worshipper was able to open a Saloon sealed chest. I mean, yeah, like, she has such a huge thing about that, and I think they even say that th there is a natural aversion to the two, which is obviously dealing with more Forgotten Realms lore that I'm not 100% familiar with. Um, but yeah, like, they're two of the same coin kind of thing, like, one in the same. One's just dark, one's light, and obviously there's opposition. I'm thinking the Shar people were like, haha, we got her, you know, let's brainwash her, and, you know, now she's like, oh, I freaking love Shar. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Uh, for God, we'll eventually give slap her. She will remember. Maybe Shar is Saloon. Uh, I don't think there's anything like that, to my knowledge. Uh, I mean, she's worshipping uh, Char. She's a trickster. Trickster cleric. Maybe all gods are sealed. <laughs> Maybe there is only one guy. <laughs> it's definitely opening up an alley of like, ooh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely very amusing though, because you would think as a cleric, like you couldn't just do that of like, I got brainwashed and now I worship someone else to the point where I have magic powers. You would think it'd be like, your old god would be like, what the heck, man? <laughs> Can't just freaking give these backsies me. 
Maybe Saloon doesn't exist and Char is having an identity crisis. Maybe Char is just misunderstood. <laughs> Have we ever considered this? <laughs> Maybe Char is just misunderstood. Which again is where it gets rough because the lore, uh, there is a reason why Char is like not appreciative, but remembering it is always, you know, the fun part. Um, but, uh, yeah, Shadowheart certainly wants you to think Char is misunderstood. But yes. We will be hopping into... Luckily, we've already loaded it up. So, one less thing to deal with. I will be jumping into... Baldur's Gate 3. After I very quickly... Unmute myself. hey -o. hey -o. Bippity boop. I'm already in. Problem solved. <laughs> I'm already there. I'm already there. Uh, so we finished all of our shopping and purchases. I would hope. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're done. Uh, let's see. I guess let's. We left off fighting some ogres. I guess we could. Uh. We clearly want to level up. We could always save that gnome at the windmill. True. Yeah, let's go ahead and head to the Blighted Village. There's probably some things we can find to do there. Once we betray all goblin kind, we'll just come back and fight these goblins. <laughs> Now, I am low on spell slots. That last fight, I remember, was thoroughly uh, kicking my butt. There's nothing here to steal. I think I'm too big to fly. I guess it is a win, though. I could probably hold on to some weight. And I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Attack the goblins. What the hells are you doing? It's definitely cutting to the chase. We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. But he's not really flying, he's just kind of spinning. Release that gnome at once. You want this little cave lurking, what's it? Find your own. He's ours! How many of them are there? I was gonna say, deep gnomes are not easy to come by, man. They're just neandering about. Oh, there, there we go. Don't utter a word. Just stare down the goblin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you gotta use your abilities. Perfect. When you get the special option, you gotta take the special option. <laughs> the goblin's nostrils flare, as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. <laughs> what? No! Ain't we supposed to bring him to- I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport <laughs> and rich pickings out there for us. I don't know, man. We've been looting a lot of stuff. Yes. Zombie me in the background. Nah, you're not a zombie. You're just very good at following Gorm. Something good here. You're very quiet today, is all. <laughs> How do? Someone flip the switch. Uh, 
I'll have to make sure I'm hitting the the brake lever and not the release brake lever. Because <laughs> otherwise he will go flying. I guess that is a fair, uh, you know, <laughs> observation. Uh. Cut me loose. Speak to your fellow gnome. <laughs> What's in it for me? <laughs> uh, sure. Free me be a little. Out. Okay. <laughs> Turns out he's really uh, being tied up. He's still a good negotiator. Oh, uh, Kamara. There's well. Get on with it. Why is he talking to me Whatever now? I, I didn't yeah, really I definitely you. found that funny. Like, free me! And then he immediately talks. I guess I didn't make a good first impression. <laughs> you seem a little confused. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> you owe me nothing. Nothing? Ah, yes. The reverse psychology. I mean, I could extort you if that's what you want. You're teasing me now. I'm certain of it. Take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. You're a little far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance is you're, un and you're not seems. underground. <laughs> deep gnomes aren't restricted to the underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I You're found it wiggling around it around too much. I can't see. <laughs> it was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note. <clears throat> Are we friends? Because we kind of still extorted him. <laughs> if we should meet again, well, I just said I could extort him if you wanted to, but mm -hmm. I guess he took that as a threat. What are we bloodhounds now, dude? What do you want for us? <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, all he kind of gave us to go off of was a little like. He said there's a pact somewhere, uh, or his pack, and I've never been able to find it after like 300 hours of early access. Uh, it sounds like a challenge. <laughs> I see a bow. Are you attempting to find it? I'll give a little look-see. I know there was a latch. Goblin bow, goblin scimitar, makeshift spear, skull lantern, a burlap sack with some rotten cheese. <laughs> uh. Huh. Some more alchemist fire, which I could probably start divvying out to other people as well. Hmm. The only thing I can think of is that it sounded like he was a merchant. So maybe we've already kind of stole from it? Oh, there it is. Heavy backpack. It's got smoke powder satchel. Some three gold, two apples, and a baguette. <laughs> it's, I, I don't know how that's a heavy... <laughs> I sent some um, heavy boots to uh, Carlac that should improve her athletics if you wanted to equip those on her. Fair enough. Eh. They are heavy looking. Now she's got plus one to athletics, which I guess helps her shove people. And Carlac's boots. Uh, 
I have a floppy hat. We could all eventually get floppy hats. Right now, I've replaced it with my headband of intellect. <laughs> oh, but it true. is tempting to put the floppy hat back on. Oh, you stole it from Carlac. I thought we were giving... <laughs> I think it's better with me because I'm going to be doing more of those investigation checks and stuff than Carlac will. Fair enough. Curse to put my hands on everything. Brick Beckett. I mean, yeah, he was like, it's a heavy pack and it had a bomb. I will admit it had a bomb and then it had food. <laughs> a baguette, an apple. I was Did wanting to speak with dead on this mauled sheep. I imagine it's not very successful because you don't speak with animals. Also, yeah, well, it's a it sheep. Also just says, <laughs> it also just says you can't cast it on beasts. And I'm like, wow, lame. Uh, How did you die? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would be the biggest thing. <laughs> you need two spells to make it work. Uh, I want to go in here. Never mind. Turns out, the goblins, they stole everything. My traps, please. Well, that was easy. Yeah. The beauty of having an assassin with us. <laughs> and a sleeping target. Take all this food. Uh, a smoking yeah. pipe. Just oh, what I needed. Oops. Didn't mean to talk to you. Twelve gold. Oh, rough. A work in progress, surely. It's hard to loot everything. Our good blacksmith has been a busy weaponeer. I hope you're ready for a fight. Ah, oh, I could totally divert this. <laughs> a, little, a little gnome interrupts them. <laughs> <laughs> the immediate interaction. Uh, Do carry on. There's bookshops in Baldur's Gate that pay well for this kind of smut. Exactly. Surely I will succeed. You can, you can ask to be friends with them. Friends. Friends? <laughs> We're friends. I'm quite the charmer, you see. <laughs> Tell of my writing. My virility. Don't want this puny writing written down. Puny! I am strong! I am virile! I They'll just fight each other. Enough! <laughs> oh, a moment ruined! Passion squished like slow goats underfoot! Oh, we leave. Wow, that was a sad ending. <laughs> But All I see is experience walking away. <laughs> I, but I suppose I'll let this one slide. <laughs> this one. <laughs> At least we, uh, you know, we've saved some uh, points, you know? Spell slots for me. <laughs> they don't have any fancy helmets or anything, so. <laughs> Just water. I mean, like, on them. Otherwise, oh. it would have been like, we gotta murder them for the fancy helmets. I don't think I would have had a chance to talk to them if they had anything good on them. <laughs> I will steal this book. I'm toggling off uh, Monson Star's dual wielding so you can actually not be forced to do it. Fair enough. Might be useful. And then maybe that will stay when you load up your character again. 
it just reverts it back. Uh, Farlack could probably pull out that dagger, right? Wanna dance? Or you, you're strength based. I do remember that dagger being very annoying. Uh, I is it just always forgot about that dagger? It is a plus one, so I guess we can give that to Moth and start. I, I always just failed with it repeatedly. <laughs> Uh, I toggled it off a while ago. Finally figured it out. But thanks. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Bro. It was still on for me. Maybe it does revert it for everybody. <laughs> use a sleight of hand check with it. I, uh, I guess I'm Gorm here. I'll use strength. I mean, yeah, maybe if we can take turns, but I don't think I have sleight of hand. I got a two. <laughs> Man. See, I told you it's bad luck. <laughs> Suppose I'll use an inspiration for it, but it's my last one. Is it worth it? Yeah, you used your other inspiration on the squirrel. <laughs> it, that was worth it. And uh, I failed again. I noticed so. that, actually. I don't think it stays off. Yeah. Maybe... Uh, it comes back on every time you switch with a new weapon. Well, I, mean, I broke the dagger. Oh. But we get roasted meat. Right? Sharp metal I guess we're not getting a plus one dagger. I can't even take the meat. That's how powerful this dagger is. <laughs> it said the sharp end is still stuck inside the meat, so essentially it's pinned to the sharp flame now. Fragment. I can't even take the handle. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> I guess it was only a dagger. And I wasted an inspiration dice for nothing, <laughs> pretty much. Well, again, you did use one for a squirrel. <laughs> uh, and that was worth it. I don't see wh wh what the problem is here. <laughs> uh... Let's see... We've already been over there for the gnolls. Yeah, we've pretty much... Well, we there's a flaming building over there. Which True. is... Really annoying to deal with, but we can get it out of the way, I suppose. I found a mysterious hole. That probably only you can fit in. A curious book, a scimitar, and an oil lamp. Uh... Oh. Scholar after my own heart. It was a mysterious book that held alcohol in it. <laughs> it was one of those uh, mysterious no, books. A drinking problem. So, I guess, are we doing this? Oh, we'll also get the Yankee up here, but that'd be a really hard fight. <laughs> so we want to probably wait until we're level four. Or at least well we rested. <laughs> Definitely on a full rest. You want to go after them. Uh, uh. Short legs. I need uh, need a bridge. <laughs> I did make the jump, but I have to get like right on the edge. <laughs> Something's burning. I want to make the quick save right here, I suppose. I think I picked up bottles of water. Maybe you could just throw those around, you know? Hey, I got two bottles of water. If you're quick enough, you don't even have to worry about it. But if you, like, dilly-dally, then it just becomes, like, impossible to do. It spreads really it's quickly. Inside. Oh, I'm gonna dilly-dally. Also, apparently, Push. some of these bodies are uh, owned by the. Uh, God, what is with these moles? <laughs> yeah, that was happening to me a lot. Alright, I'm not doing the alternate route because it's too much of a pain, so I'm just loading. <laughs> Fair enough. Now that we know what the role is.
with like persuasion or something or strength. It's strength. And like you think with Gorm that'd be <laughs> fine, but I'm rolling like twos over here. I mean I was having the same problem. I think it was uh yester uh yeah, yesterday or was the first session where yeah, it was like do a persuasion roll and it's like my charisma's high and like nope, you rolled like a two, <laughs> a three. I'm getting more low rolls on this file than I've ever gotten on this game before. <laughs> we are cursed. Especially with our like sleight of hand checks when we're pickpocketing, like I'll 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 have that succeed on my own game after like two or three attempts, and we did it like seven times or something off stream. It took quite a <laughs> while to uh, cheese the uh, the guard or not the guard, but the merchant. Yeah. It's just trying to tell us something. <laughs> further can I go? It's trying to tell us to not cheese it. And just fail throughout the entire campaign. <laughs> okay, all I need to get is a seven. I hear shouting. There Someone we go. Just a seven. Excellent armor. Strange place to find it. Let me take all these dead people things. Not the stealing. Don't want to steal. They will be very upset. Hello? Can you hear me? Okay. Why why am, am I unable to move? Oh there we go. There's a lot of healing happening. They're over here. Killing themselves. <laughs> it's a okay, water there's a guy bird. in here. Do that, I guess. And... <laughs> uh, Carla, save that guy. <laughs> You're stronger than I am. Right? You can lift that. <laughs> Turn base mode Hurry, now. Get this thing off me. Uh, yeah. Just lift that up. No, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> she fail? Yep. I, With advantage. I she had to get a ten. <laughs> I I maybe can try. Dumb. We'll find out. Just go. Unless he just dies. I'm done for. He's kind of doing the whole, like, I'm done for. Uh, I can give it another shot. What have I got to lose? Uh, you gotta beat a 15 gotta now. Gotta beat a 15, or I can steal your elixir of hill giant strength. <laughs> To add no. a plus two, that feels. <laughs> well, wow. she's already at, she's already at plus three, and it's just gonna bring her strength up to twenty one. So it's only gonna add two. Yeah, this is definitely. <laughs> there hey. we go. <laughs> you did it, Carla. <laughs> Wow, you made that look extremely easy. What was the <laughs> You did it? Uh, thank you. Now, how the hell do we get out of here? Uh, uh definitely have him follow us, because if you say the door's that way or you're on your own, he's just gonna kill himself. <laughs> Fair enough. Come on, follow me. Right, the AI does not know how to path, he would just run through the fire. And I guess I will now walk out the door. In here. Got it. Uh, uh, wasting time. Uh, wow, that's fire spread quick. Not now. What do you mean not now? That guy Are we not supposed uh, to be saving this person? That, I don't think that guy followed very well. He might not have made it. <laughs> He's probably gonna burn to death. 
That's why I hate this section, because the AI is just like, I don't know how to run through fire! <laughs> what do I do? Okay, I think yeah, I did he get it. No, he died. Mary. Oh, well, there's one guy here. Finrin. Still breathing. The other Despite person, everything. I think, died. Oh, yeah. no, no, he's alive. Okay, yeah. The other person died. His, his, uh, portrait ran away, so I thought he died. Nope, everyone made it, it looks oh. like. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. You guys should Nothing. really get like, I don't know, right. fire extinguishers, water. <laughs> more than their fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the man and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. Also... On your command, Put Kansler. out the fire the of my house. <laughs> count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you. I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? Uh, let's see. I cannot input. It just says continue. My input is continue. <laughs> um, Raven guards a champion to the people of Baldur's Gate. A champion indeed. He's the invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city faces collapse. In fact, I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Indeed. Ah, now I can see it. Uh. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yep. I accept the quest. I accept the thing that will probably get us better loot and gold Go. and experience. You pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I. Can. I accept your plot this hook. <laughs> and now we get to choose a special weapon. I leveled up along with Carlac, but not you. That's because uh, I you probably got inspired a bunch, and I've not been inspired much. Uh, Neither has the rogue. Carlac and you have been inspired by things, I guess. That's weird. <laughs> but yeah, because inspiration gives experience as yeah. well. I guess I'll level up Carlac because you were kind of doing that, so I'll need input, I guess. Uh, well. I was probably just going to put her with um, either an ASI or dual wielder because I, th I don't know because I was kind of thinking maybe making her a dual wielder as a barbarian which means I'd want the, the feat that gives her the plus one dex and lets her wield non-light weapons but an ASI couldn't hurt either so true. There is, of course, just keeping with the fact that she's a two-hander and giving her great, uh, great weapon master, uh, great uh, weapon master, or um, it's a that's a good feat if you have something to make her accuracy better. Like if I cast bless on her, otherwise she just misses a lot. True, because it does a minus five to her attack roll. Uh, let's see. I don't think but she, she also needs has reckless attack, so that yeah. I don't know. I mean, savage attacker you seen, like, and making weapon attacks. You roll your damage die uh, dice. I don't twice. like that one. I don't like that one. Uh, I feel like there's just better feats than that. <laughs> tough. She would get more hit points. That would be nice for a barbarian, I suppose. Other than that, yeah. It's Sentinel. tough to plus one con. Does it give her plus one con? Here, it just gives her... Uh, your hit points increases by two for every level. So it doesn't add anything to any stat. But she well, would be getting more HP. It might, if, if that's the case, it might be better to give her that now, because if we give it to her later, then would she not get the effects from the earlier levels? 
I think it is supposed to be retroactive, but I don't know how this game works. I would agree that getting it early is probably best than getting it later. Uh, the only downside about it is it's a feat that that doesn't really. Sorry, someone's calling me. You're um, so it doesn't... popular. It doesn't really take a. F you don't see the benefits of the feat until, you know, I mean, yeah, your se way several later. levels later. <laughs> it's just giving you a little extra HP. I mean, after like eight level ups, she'll have what sixteen more HP. Uh, yeah. Plus, of course, what uh, she rolls, which you know. Well, I guess it doesn't do rolls. It just gives you I the feel average. Like wouldn't it just be better though to just do an ASI into Constitution? <laughs> we could do that. Her Dex is thirteen, her Con is fifteen. I could just do Dex and Con. What's her strength? Uh, seventeen, which is also you know yeah, good to improve. I would say just do Strength and Con for ASI. Uh, makes sense to me. Strength and con. Barbarian is big, big whammy with strength and lots of constitution. I mean, yeah, I was just thinking also her unarmored defense, which I think, yeah, sadly, it requires a lot of decks eventually. Well, I'll probably just keep her with medium armor instead of doing unarmored defense. So she is good to go. Having that late bloomer could make or break. I mean, yeah, it's definitely like, I, I feel like early level, I guess there's no like wrong answer. It is like, <laughs> it's literally the beginning of. <laughs> well, if you do an ASI in the constitution versus that sturdy feat, you're literally only losing eight hit points. Because <laughs> we only get to level 12 in this game. I mean, yeah. I get unless, another unless... cantrip. Unless it does retroactively count the earlier levels, in which case it would be 12 hit points, but that's still not a huge difference. I guess I'll do Minor Illusion. That's a weird one. Anything but Mage Hand. <laughs> I was thinking Mage Hand, but then I was like, it's still only two, t two times. <laughs> Enthrall. Um... I don't know what would be a good spell to pick up. I'm talking to a dead goblin while you're doing all that. <laughs> the huge <laughs> talking to a dead goblin. I shall ask the dead goblin, why were you after the duke? The duke. Absolute wants him. I honestly don't know what would be a good... <laughs> I guess Crown of Madness? Instill madness in a humanoid enemy, making them attack the creature closest to them other than you. Eh? <laughs> uh, invisibility, I feel like, would not be very useful. Um... Why were you trying to take the Duke? Take the prisoners to Moonrise. Uh, what were you doing at the end? Raiding, burning, killing. Did you leave any survivors? Slaves. Good raid. Out of questions. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Didn't learn much, except for the fact that they were taking some of the Moonrise Towers. Oh, now I leveled up. I guess talking to that goblin gave me experience. Weird. It gave you the smidge of experience you needed. Probably uh, because I learned about Moonrise Towers. Probably. I guess I'll take Silence. That seems like a good one for spells and spell... Uh, just to generally thwart spellcasting. And a good old feat. Um... I must pick my deity for Gorm. That would be an interesting one. And there's a lot of them. Mm. I'll uh, probably just go for, like, the Dwarven God. I 
I could become an actor and get one charisma, but I feel like the proficiency bonus is not very necessary. <laughs> I might just take the ASI. Uh, or I could be like, I could be a cleric of Salune. And then, like, Shadow Hearts, like, what the heck, man? What the heck, man? <laughs> Immediate aggression happens. Uh, Is Char even an option? It has to be, right? It would be kind of weird if she's one and you're like, ah, you're locked out of it. <laughs> Saluna, Saluna, Bahama, Tempest, Tear, Helm, Ilmater, Maestra, Ogma, Kelimvor, Moradin, Corellin, Barethian, Garl, Glitter Gold, Yondala, Lolf, Grumsh, Tiamat, Elastri, Lathander, Talos, Tamora, and Meleki, or whatever it's called. So, yeah. Shar is not an option. That's weird. It's literally only if you're playing as Shadow Art. Weird. I guess it's because that's what makes her special. They're just like, no. <laughs> this will be good. Extra armor. Uh, extra charisma. Faded drow leather armor. I think I'll go for Grumsh, or whatever you say his name. I think the it's one Grumsh. eye. Is the orc's patron deity, a god of war, conquest, and victory at all costs. He has held an ancient and immutable grudge against the elven pantheon since Corellan Lorethian took his eye. So I'm racist against elves, apparently. <laughs> Good start. Or at least my god is. <laughs> <laughs> you just immediately go into camp and you're like, Now something about Astarian and Shadow <laughs> I definitely like the idea of just like everything that you can do just immediately is met with aggression. <laughs> I want to search the houses more, but I feel like it would just melt me. <laughs> the one on the, the one on the left, I think, is safe to search. I'll go check it out. I think I'm going to skip actually taking Sacred Flame as a cantrip because I don't think it's good because it, it's a deck save, not an attack roll. And that's always annoyed me. <laughs> uh, you need some good old fashioned Toll the Dead. That's not a cantrip, unfortunately, in this game. Oof. <laughs> They're like, that was too OP. We had to, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm coughing like crazy over here. It's getting to you, the smoke of the building. And I gotta find out what domain I want. The useful book. one. I'll take the soap. It's gotta be good, right? <laughs> Dark Urge, Shadow Heart, Nestarian as Gorm. As Gorm. I can learn to speak with animals if I pick the nature domain. Or cleric. That would be a weird choice, as I can already speak with animals. I mean... Unless you just really wanted to speak with animals. Worm doesn't seem like an animal speaker. He kicks squirrels. <laughs> I was about to say, like, what, what gave you that notion? <laughs> He's like, okay, now that I can speak with them, maybe we'll be on good terms. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, because he's racist against elves if he picks the deity that does that. I think I'll go for Tempest Domain. Like, I already have proficiency in heavy armor and martial weapons, but I just like the idea of... Uh... Gorm casting Thunder Wave on people. I mean, yeah, plus you get other benefits, like... Sure, you're not getting the proficiencies min-maxed, but, like, you're still getting other stuff. There's a subclass feature called Wrath of the Storm. Strike back at an attacking creature, potentially dealing 2 to 16 lightning damage. On a failed saving throw, you deal half of a 2 to 16 thunder damage roll instead. Which doesn't sound bad. So it's like, it's a reaction, it sounds like. Strike back at an attacking creature. So it sounds like it's got to be a reaction. I mean, yeah, it probably eats up your uh, attack of opportunity. But I already have Repost as a reaction for my Battle Master. So I'm wondering if they'll just tell, ask me which, which one you want to do. Yeah. Which I would think you would want to do the one that just gives you the bigger damage, which it sounds like that does some pretty beefy or if damage. Someone, if someone's resistant to physical damage, I could do that one instead. True, So I yeah. have lots of options, I guess. I'm just hoping that it doesn't, like, not ask me which one I want to do, because that would be terrible. If it's just <laughs> like, we're just going to pick for you. <laughs> well, just pick randomly. I guess I'll go for it, and then if it if it doesn't work that way, I can always respec. Bars of soap apparently aren't very useful. Ah. Ah. Thought the fire had kind of stopped but uh turns out the longer you're in there the more it just kind of does its thing <laughs> good to know <laughs> yeah. i have a single spell slot well i have two but you know one's for the second <sighs> Great God, Helm. Too many choices. I kind of want to pick up Sanctuary. Which for like a, you know, a last ditch, like, I need this person to not go down, so I'm going to cast Sanctuary on them. True. You or an ally cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature, so you're essentially just... It lets it lets them like you know drink a healing potion for a turn or flee and not be targeted <laughs> or run away. Run away. <laughs> so I suppose I'll do that. So I think I got Gorm settled there. I feel like it'll definitely be one of those spells where it's either super helpful <laughs> or you'll never use it. <laughs> and now I have uh, such a large bar of options that it's I, it expands way out <laughs> outwards because i got all my battle master stuff mixed with my cleric stuff <laughs> yeah my uh my rows and bars have definitely just kind of blobbed up but at least you can kind of click things to separate them like bonus action action spells cantrips a little beneficial. I'll certainly have a lot of versatility now. Great that's God for help. sure. Now the fun part. We have to level up a character that isn't our own. True. So, Monster Star, you'll have to maybe type in the chat. Uh, Let me see if I can pull up her stats at least. So, your stats right now are 17 decks and... Uh, 15 con, which is a pretty high con. Um, your intelligence is 12. Charisma's 10 and all that fun stuff. Wisdom's 13. So I'm assuming... 
you would probably just want to take the ASI for dex and maybe wisdom. Or perception. I don't know what your proficiencies are. Um, you are proficient in perception. So yeah, maybe I would recommend just dex and wisdom. But I am waiting in chat. I'm assuming that we're not doing a multi-class either, and we're just doing level 4 rogue. I'm assuming as well. Uh... You do, yeah, an ASI just for wisdom to 14 and dex to 18, or... Any good feats for rogues. No you multi-class. You could also... Is she asking for good feats for rogues? I think so, yeah. The problem is, is that I can't see the level up screen <laughs> so okay so you you have weapon master which will let you get proficiency and heavy crossbows rapiers that kind of stuff and you can pick four weapons and you can raise your dex to 18 because you get to raise strength or dex by one so that's a good option True. uh warcaster tough tavern brawler spell sniper skill shield master maybe sharpshooter Sharp Sharpshooter is essentially like you get minus five to your attack rolls, but every arrow that you shoot does ten extra damage. Yeah, you'll you'll be less accurate, but you're gonna have big whammies on sneak attacks. Generally, you can choose when you want to do it. I don't know how this game does it. Yeah, you can choose if you so, want yeah. to do it. You can if, if you're it confident, you can hit. You can toggle sharpshooter. Um. Moderately armored, if you want to wear medium armor, you can raise your dex to 18 still, and then you'll also get proficiency in shields by using moderately armored. I'd be pretty shocked if she would start using a shield. Especially as a you rogue. Like dual wielding. I mean, like, I've done it with a star in. It gets you a really high AC. <laughs> but you tend, tend to be one to dual wielding as a rogue. I mean, yeah. Or, or Unless you're using a rapier. I would think with the way that the setup's going is is that she and I would be backline fighters with like crossbow and or bow and you could get the lucky feet which as a halfling I think you already have something like that. <laughs> yeah, she got halfling luck. So when you, you get, roll you'd a be one. Even more lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Double luck. The luckiest halfling ever. Uh there's some other good rogue Honestly, there's not like a ton that I can off the top of my head that screams rogue. Here's the dual wielder one, so she could like, you know, get a plus one bonus to AC when she's dual wielding, but she doesn't have proficiency in rapiers, so yeah. you'd still be stuck wielding short swords. I think the wet I, I would honestly either just go for an ASI uh or like the weapon proficiency one so that you could get heavy She's crossbow proficient training. In rapiers. Oh, because you're a rogue. Yeah, because of the rogue, yeah. Hold on, let me see what you already are proficient in. Clubs, daggers, great clubs. Wait, wait no, hold on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Why are you proficient in great clubs? What the fuck? I guess it's just because it's like, I don't know. Simple? Why would a rogue <laughs> have a proficiency in great clubs. Okay. I think it's because clubs, they're simple. Daggers, they're proficient in all simple they're weapons. Simple weapons. Yeah. Clubs, daggers, great clubs, hand crossbow, hand axe, javelin, light crossbow, light hammer, long sword, mace, quarterstaff, rapier, short sword, sickle, and spear. Yeah. And so then... you could get scimitar proficiency, longbow proficiency, heavy crossbow. All those are decks. Scimitars, though, I think do the same damage as rapiers? Uh, Actually, they, they might they be do less. The, it, no, they're the same as a short sword. It's just slashing damage versus piercing damage. True, yeah. But that's a d6. Uh, rapiers, I think, do a d8. There are some unique scimitars in this game, though. True. I mean, they're, yeah, magic nice. weapons are always kind of a, you know... Honestly, I feel like just having longbow and heavy crossbow proficiency would be nice enough as it is, because your sneak attacks could get some big extra damage. The longbow uh, but, proficiency yeah. sounds tempting, torn between that and the ASI. If you go ASI, you can get some more hit points with con or increase your wisdom. 
to get wisdom to 14 and have like higher perception and better wisdom saving throws to resist spells. Uh, true, yeah. You could increase quite a bit. I mean, with an ASI, you can increase your dex to 18, uh, your con to 16, which is already like pretty high. <laughs> Yeah, 16 uh, con for a row would be... It's pretty high, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, intelligence for a 12 obviously wouldn't do anything unless you put both points into that, which would be kind of weird, but I guess not terrible. Uh, wisdom, 13. Yeah. Do ASI, wisdom, and constitution. Okay, if that's what you want. Wisdom and con. Kind of figured you'd push your dex to 18, but if that's uh, if you want to put wisdom and con up, then that's what I'll do. Uh, I can pick longbow later. True. I mean, technically, that's true too. Rogues have more oh, ASIs than. Um, that is true because you could have another level up and then do a weapon proficiency feat yeah. later and push your dex to 18. So you that's what uh, we'll do fighters and rogues they get extra ASIs. I don't know how many, obviously, but yeah. Okay, now uh, somehow me and Monson Star have the same HP. Cool. I guess it's because your constitution went up. Yeah, to sixteen. Yeah. So you share the same con as Big Old Gorm here. <laughs> and <laughs> then the there's HP level. Whittle old me <laughs> with your twenty-seven. I'm usually a backline fighter, though. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and long rest. Fair enough. Couldn't hurt. Or maybe it can. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like something happened. Somebody is... Unless that, was, unless that was like every other person in the camp leveling up. Oh, that's true, <laughs> yeah. Probably them all leveling up at the same time. <laughs> They all want to talk to Shadowheart, Will. I guess I can talk to Shadowheart. Uh, it did last time. Unless she's like, no, I will not speak to you. <laughs> You're wondering why I was in pain before. Best if we just get the subject out of the way now. Yes, the let's. My hand. It never quite heals. I don't remember you being in pain, though. Pain to rip through me. Um, she was in pain when we shop. saw a Saluna statue by the windmill, but I don't think she was with yeah. in the party with us when that happened. <laughs> so it never actually <laughs> happened. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Why not? Lady Shah has her reasons. That sounds a little fanatic y, but if you. <laughs> uh, it's like textbook fanatic. <laughs> uh, I don't question, I just do. Is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> I think so, but you're sweet to ask. Question mark? <laughs> just be patient the next time you see me wince. Your gnome is like, I'm really it's trying to romance this. High Elf does. that's way out of my league. <laughs> Pain or Half Elf, I guess. Hey, what the heck, man? <laughs> I'm a good-looking gnome. <laughs> piece of her I just don't think you're Shadowheart's type. <laughs> but neither, I don't think I am either. It's hard to say what Shadowheart's type is. <laughs> she strikes me as, like... I think she'd romance Lazel. <laughs> she's got she's got that like love hate relationship. <laughs> love hate relationship. I forget hate your guts, but you're the only person that'll deal with my bullcrap. <laughs> and then the next scene, I see them sleeping together. Perhaps it's completely random. If anything, you have a shot with Astarian because I think Astarian will bang literally everyone. Meaning that Lady Shah will. Yeah, but Astarian also feels like the kind of person that would then try to kill me. And all I can do is endure. Uh, let's turn to other matters, which I think is pretty much just generic talk. I will go. <laughs> I'm leaving now. 
got Will. Gale's looking hungry again. I have to pet Scratch every time I come back to camp. True. I can Seems talk like to Scratch. To I forgot about you're keeping well, friend. Uh, sorry what happened to your master. master. Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he Sorry was about that. <laughs> never forget him. It was freaking dead. The heck's happening over there? <laughs> yes, it's sanctuary on you. Oh. We're about the long rest anyway, so I wanted to... I guess the, see what the spell looks like. The dog could try to attack me. <laughs> Yeah, now, now if it does happen, he's just going to be standing there like, well, I can't hurt you. It's like, well, I guess I'll attack someone else. Uh, So what do we do with the Gale predicament? Feed him items. But what do we feed him? Let's see what we have available to feed him. A key of the ancients. <laughs> I like uh, how fucking needy Gale is. Did you, I mean, listen, yeah. did you hear what he said? Please. <laughs> nah, I, I was trying he said, to. What's, on your, what's on your mind? Apart from, apart from me, finding an artifact for me to consume, which I assume is of the utmost urgency. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I mean, Hello again, to like, you too. <laughs> he is the perfect scam artist. Like, this would be very easy for him to just be like, haha, I bamboozled you, and then flee into the night. <laughs> that is most gratifying to hear. May I? The crazy part like is, Gale. we just... <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's very important. But, like, could you at least, like, you know, ask nicer, maybe? <laughs> I didn't think it would be this quick. Like... I'm not giving him the missile snaring gloves, because those are too useful. I'll probably just give him the gloves of power, because you have to get the absolute mark on you. And I feel like that's going to cause problems later in the game. Probably, yeah. Like, as soon as I have the absolutes mark, they're just going to do that thing where it's like, you bend to my will now because you have my mark. You're a freaking dingus. <laughs> yeah, I have these absolute gloves. Thank you. Let's see. So this is like the second time we rested, I think. And yeah, it was just like, I'm hungry. Feed me. I'm hoping it's experience. just like you do it like three it's or four times and then he doesn't need it anymore because if you have to do it like throughout the whole times, game <laughs> it is me only to be sacrificed on the dread his personal of the quest is of the utmost but... priority <laughs> this doesn't feel quite he right. does say it. <laughs> it never feels right but it relieves this doesn't relieve yeah now this time he's like <sighs> This isn't good enough. It's not it's feed not doing me it. more. <laughs> Please tell me we didn't just waste a piece of magical <laughs> equipment. Never the pragmatist in chief, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. Surprised he didn't disappear like that. Time, like <laughs> yeah, I was definitely very shocked. The forest fire it merely drizzles. Maybe he yeah, also understands. He's like, I get it. <laughs> undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my I steps need to, to eat a glade of seventeen calm more items. And think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. Not really. I just killed a goblin for it. <laughs> how ninety percent of our artifacts are acquired. <laughs> Withers is you can literally just give him another one right away. <laughs> that is a weird decision. <laughs> I wonder if it's just like if you want to max out his approval right away, because like I know each time you give him one, he approves. And so if you really want to just like spam his approval up, you can just give it all these magical items. What if he like stops you? He's like, uh, I've, I'm, I'm full, man. I'm freaking I'm full. full. <laughs> Should we talk to Will? Yeah, he looks like he wants to speak. He's probably upset about these horns on his head. <laughs> God damn Can you, like, saw the these off? Just look at me. I did what was right. 
I like how we didn't even talk to him when he got the horns. We're like, okay, we're just going to bed. <laughs> later. 24 hours later, he's like, can we please talk about this? We only talk about stuff when you have an exclamation point. tend to be unforgiving from what you know of them. Will was lucky he didn't face a more severe... Actually, no, we had this conversation. It must have been with someone else, yeah. I think it was because Monson Star had the conversation, so maybe... It's like not registering. I count my lucky star. It's yeah, I'll count a space bar I through it. Every thrust of my blade and every yeah. Possible, but I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rule. Or maybe that's it. Like we can have all for it. Gotta be all it nosy. So just chip one of her nailed claws. She'll escape. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. Well, you don't. You can't bring Mazora harm, but we can. True. Unless you're just roped in by association because you're traveling with us. Which would be a difficult thing to oversee, unless the game did do that again, where it's like clause number twenty-five B. <laughs> uh, you know, nobody can hurt me that you're associated with. <laughs> Speak with dead and fog. <laughs> Apparently, there's one nasty fog. <laughs> oh, oh. Alrighty. Let us sleep. That'd be really funny if uh, it doesn't recover my spell slots for some reason. They're like, well, you casted it before you went to bed. <laughs> I guess you'll find out. There are some weird things in this game. Mostly so, Mage Hand. <laughs> to let you know what we're having for dinner today, for our uh, our long rest, we are having a uh, stout stew. Sounds uh, normal. Poteen, fries, cheese, and gravy, apparently. Not awful. I mean, yeah. Combined, it's a little weird, you know. Frites. Uh, Thick-cut chips fried in beef tallow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, fish. So we're having, like, fish and chips, essentially. A little, little weirder. and <laughs> We're having, like, three main courses. <laughs> Coffee. That's definitely right. the odd one out. <laughs> right before bed and a half eaten apple. <laughs> That's the dessert. <laughs> Who wants the half eaten apple? Oh, here we go. Lots of stars getting bitten by a starian. Uh, Who wants that halfling blood? Oh, I guess I have to. Oh, they're having a private moment. You can only join in their dialogue. It's not. Oh, hold on. Private. Try it again. You don't sleep well. I don't, it was some Flicking for some reason checkbox and as a private moment with a star. Maybe you break your meditation because you know. Odd that he chose wrong. you. Or maybe you just get. I mean, lucky. I do feel like her blood would be tastier than mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the rogue no, tension. No, He's like, you took my like, spot. I swear. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm assuming that you'll ask him how long it's been since you killed instead of trying to murder him. Just immediately. Suppose, if I'm role-playing your character here, I will wait for you to type in chat if you're still here. The problem is that everything's a little delayed, so it might take a little while. I just don't want to do anything out of her character. I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that yes... Uh, how long since you killed someone? Probably gonna be the choice that she would make. <laughs> well, maybe she really doesn't like vampires. <laughs> True! I mean, you know, uh, I'm with you. Like, she could definitely pull a fast one, but, uh... I have a sneaking suspicion. Uh... Unless Astarian made, like, immediate attacks. Uh, that she would not choose combat. Also, it's like the the gaminess of um, 
you know, like, he's a companion, you know, the obvious RPG trope of, like, I'm not gonna kill a companion if I don't have to, you know. Well, we're not using him, so... <laughs> True. Uh, so far, though, silence is on the end, so... I, okay, so I'll we, go for... We might have to override and do the old... Yeah. We'll kill him later if she chooses. <laughs> I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. It's not enough. How many kobolds have you not bumped into? <laughs> I feel so weak. If I just had now he's life, gaslighting you. <laughs> I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange Did I just see a head in the background? <laughs> and your companion's mind He's also apparently unfolds. already bitten into Secrets her neck because she's already got it. blood coming out of her neck. It was Suppose like we'll use the illithid wisdom on him. Push into his mind. <laughs> Man. I what's this? What's happening? Why of course I get it. Something I get a 20 when I have a DC of 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. That's insulting that you have to even roll that. I mean, like... <laughs> it's just there, so if you get a nat 1, they can be like, yeah, no. You freaking suck. <laughs> but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. He's telling the truth. Uh, continue. I... Yes. I guess, yes. yes. He's telling the I truth to an extent. <laughs> my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. See, now that sounds stupid. You can trust me. I was just trying to eat you. Uh, and, uh, I think I'm going to roleplay, and I believe Monson Star would probably say, you tried to bite me, how can I trust you? Fair enough. Because I agree with that decision. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please. Only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Uh, here's the hard part. Here is the hard part, and so far it's been silent on her end. But, let's think about it. Uh, right now, two is definitely sticking out the most for me. Because it's that, like... You make a valid point, but I'm also not a pushover kind of, you know, idea. Um, sorry, I had to yeah. run to the restroom. Uh, fair enough. What do you think of Astarian? He tried to bite you. He's already bitten you, apparently. He, he, I guess, he, yeah, he's technically bitten you. Uh, and he says he just needs a little bit of blood for him to feel like he's in fighting condition again. And you can either say that you approve, uh, or I, if you go too far, I'll kill you, or absolutely not. <laughs> what do you have to say? Because we were kind of forcefully, uh, this cutscene happened to your character without our choice. True. So Starion, he likes your halfling blood. Two. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, of course. I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable. And then he just like bites the top of your head, just like, <laughs> just like the most unconventional. It's like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Your blood pressure is kind of iffy, you know. <laughs> All right. Now the fun part. Do you Let persuade? Him continue. Did he just kill, kill me? <laughs> no, I imagine this is the whole like he could probably kill you to an extent. He could kill you if he goes too far. 
Uh, you can either let him continue. Melee uh, attack. Kill him, pretty much. Kill, yeah, kill him. Uh, strength. Push him off of you, which probably isn't a good idea because I don't think your strength's very good, or try to persuade him that he's had enough. What do you think? My strength is nil, so I guess persuade. Okay. Makes sense. You gotta it's be only a five. DC of five. You got a 15. You're a master persuader to a person biting your neck. Oh, of course. He's like, whoopsie doodles, that, my B. That was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. I just like eating people. Uh, <laughs> oh, they give you so many options for you to be like, all right, now kill him. <laughs> <laughs> His guard's down. <laughs> You would think his guard would be down at when he was biting you, like... Yeah, that would have been the best time to do it. Um, are we, uh... I guess these don't matter that much, it just kind of... I guess, yeah, it would be more or less your demeanor to possibly romancing him? I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Two. I don't, I'd... that's all wrong. <laughs> oh, don't be so Makes dramatic. Sense. This is just a little... Transaction I was being friends. eaten alive. He even, even said friends, so now we've been you friend zoned him. <laughs> Dude just bit me. <laughs> if you ever try that again, I'll cut you in half. <laughs> oh well apparently you need to we leave can... my camp now. <laughs> uh I'm thinking definitely one or three, because you're either gonna have to just kind of appease him and be like, ah, Let's see if that blood actually did anything. <laughs> three will probably, you know, three is obviously the, you know. Uh, let's keep this as friends yeah. kind of thing. One. Or okay. Shouldn't take long. So many people. Appeasing. People. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. <laughs> that face. <laughs> I won't <laughs> She's like horrified. He stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident. I think it's definitely funny that he does that, because it's like, I'm not even full, you know, I need to go eat something else. It's like, why didn't you just eat something else then? Because, you know, I think it's like the human blood probably tastes the best. And now you're bleeding. Yeah, something. now for until until the next long rest, you have a minus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks. Bloodless. And Astarian's get a plus. He has a plus one to all of those. But I we got don't two have freaking holes in, in me. <laughs> no, they closed up. Look, I can see your neck from here. You're you're fine. Closed up real nice, like. You just have this red. Demon aura. aura. <laughs> Will is apparently wanting to talk along with. Again? He's a very chatty boy. <laughs> uh, no one else seems to want to talk. I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of Yeah. Well, what's the deal, Will? <laughs> the Grand Duke. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells, older Raven God's been taken. Well, let's see. Uh. I guess either, yeah, I mean, one or two, I guess. <laughs> you must know the man. I know him better than most. He's my father. Dun, dun, dun! Yes! Said, well, he spilled the beans no on that really pride, quick. Not least for him. At least it was easier to spill the beans on that than his pack. <laughs> <laughs> guess that makes sense. <laughs> Yo, I, I got a demon, I got a devil on my shoulder. <laughs> 
I can't trust you if you keep so many secrets. First Mazora, now this. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, man? I know. And you're right. Which he actually agrees. My story and then you smiled about true. it. You're like, I am right. <laughs> a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And Will Ravengard. A memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade. Not the shadow he left behind. Man, you're a very expressive orc. You sad orc. Yeah, what do you all... think the drow want with your father? I've been asking myself the same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Men's Oberanzen would have little use for my father. I don't no, know. This is no drow plot. Uh, these absolute nutters. These money? true <laughs> souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Man, you put a lot of uh, pressure on. <laughs> He's the future of the Sword Coast. <laughs> Uh, Teach us care when we would be reckless. Teach us certainty when we would have doubt. So it is spoken. And so man, is she's gone. still going on over that dead body. All 24 hours later. <laughs> you are very persistent. So uh, now the real question is where do we go from here? We can do some of the uh, the, be the beginning of the Underdark, I suppose. Uh, find the missing shipment is a quest we have. Search for survivors a, of the caravan. There's a, a big spider section in the Blighted Village we haven't done. We could fight some spiders. I guess, you know. Couldn't hurt. Uh, or maybe it will. <laughs> it will hurt probably a little bit. <laughs> we gotta worry about our minus one friend. Our bloodless friend. <laughs> Somebody give me a like some orange juice and a cookie or something. <laughs> uh, so we want to go to this well here. And just jump right in. <laughs> Pretty much. Or do you want feather fall first? <laughs> I think we just climb down the rope essentially. Fair enough. I'll investigate it and give myself guidance because that's how that works. That is how it can work. Looks unremarkable. Some would say it's cheesy. Dry stones <laughs> line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. Water. You would Yeet. think that, you know, these webs water. are everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like there's just coins down there. Yeah. They're like, nah, this gotta... is clearly a portal to the Underdark. <laughs> this is a very guy. strange sewer. Spiders. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Where do you get your water from? Like, this is bone dry. Also, these cocoons are hostile. And stealing. I'm stealing from these <laughs> cocoons. <laughs> Uh-oh. Apparently, that was enough to alert spiders near to us. Maybe I guess that makes sense. Like that. The whole vibrations of the web thing. You're making some funny noises. Up oh, here they come. Better cap. <laughs> Look at him go. Let's see. You could totally sneak. <laughs> like right outside of his range, essentially. Pew. Big whammy. It's infested with spiders, I'm assuming.
it freaking exploded web. <laughs> I guess better to deal with this now than later, you know? <laughs> Uh, I guess let's keep it simple, right? We're gonna do some raging and some whacking. And, uh, should be able to reach. Oh, I got stuck, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I guess that's it now. All she's doing. Uh. She technically can do a ranged attack. I guess. Critical miss! Might as well. Nice. <laughs> At least lets her do something. <laughs> well, so much for peace. And for myself. Why, I guess I'm going to do some good old fashioned dissonant whispers. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> they literally can't succeed if I do that. Uh, uh, well, I'll just stay here. Good enough. Play a song. <laughs> well, we'll definitely be killing that one last, it seems like. <laughs> He's very far away. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of curious if they could get around us, but I guess the most they can do is get above us. With the spider web. Spread infestation. <laughs> it just runs away. <laughs> Dude, I get a critical hit, or I get a critical miss, and the spider gets a critical hit. <laughs> cursed! Uh, Definitely cursed. <laughs> uh, man. I guess. Sure. I'll just. Uh. <laughs> uh and, yeah, I guess just pop a shot, I guess. Definitely bad luck. Uh, do a little hop. <laughs> oh, what to do, what to do. Turns out, a lot of my spells are only slightly beneficial in this situation. Here goes nothing. Have you ever seen a spider laugh? <laughs> I don't think I want to, that sounds horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> It's like some freaky. <laughs> I hope you didn't want to hear uh, fight music. <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing about the bard is that you can do this, but like you would think that there would be more like, I don't know, like upbeat combat music. It replaces the the fight music. Yeah, you would think it would go with the fight music or something. Be a little bit more cinematic. <laughs> okay, that's a spider that's down. One's laughing. Uh, an editor cap will be on its way.
Toxin. Man. I have been royal, like, Karlak, not good luck with this fight. Because even if you knock down that one... And I missed. I guess I'll just... <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, just save. Why not? Let's get a little closer in case it does jump down or... <laughs> no choice but to keep going. Can I not jump up here? I suppose I can. Now, does this technically count as web? I might, yeah. Eh. <laughs> What's a jumping? <laughs> uh. Oh, let's try some vicious mockery. Maybe it'll fail oh, it. Mr. Ball Bag. <laughs> Maybe it'll fail its attack. Web! I saved. But there's still a bunch around me. So Webs the, everywhere! The hopping must continue. <laughs> Everyone must hop. You just shoot the spider web and make them all fall. <laughs> Worm has to crawl back down in order to reach them. Hey! That is really annoying. Come back! Uh. I feel like Gorm's weight would like... Break the web? Yeah, but I suppose we'll find out. You'll probably get stuck. I saved. Close, my, so. but yeah. Are you coming with me with Carlac? I was. Probably gonna get I was trying, but I can't walk that far. I don't think. Maybe I can. I guess I can. Uh, I'll let you attack first, and. If, in case this does screw us over. Well, Why not? Just save everything. Yeah, <laughs> it still kind of screwed me over. Uh, do you have so I guess I'll just shoot. <laughs> Man, you're a shooty person now. <laughs> a shooty barbarian. You're a shooty barbarian. I want to give in. Um, I will continue to hop. <laughs> Can I, oh, I wanted to search the editor cap before moving. Well, <laughs> uh, that's very far away. Yeah, I can't yell that far, so I guess I'm dashing. I'll search the spider on the way of canoodling my way over here. Canoodling. <laughs> Very inefficiently. I think I got some bug meat. But I what did I pick up? There we go. 10 XP. <laughs> What's hiding? It's a little insulting, yeah. <laughs> The easy path. A lot of checks happening that I don't see. <laughs> it's all like poison that's on the ground and spider webs and stuff. Just robbing these cocoons. Oh yeah, all the webs. I'm pretty sure these require strength saving throws, which I'm proficient in, and I'm just failing them over and over again. As you do. <laughs> Turns out the game just really doesn't appreciate us. As a dead goblin uh, child. There are some boots over here, which I guess I'll pick up, that make it so you're immune to the web effect. Which is going to be very useful for the boss spider. 
found a red apple on the dead. The question dog. is, who wants to have it? Uh, probably Car, probably Carlac or me. Uh, definitely a physical combatant, which I guess you already have magical boots, so. I guess yeah, Carlac. I'll give him a Carlac. So she can like be reckless on the webs. <laughs> She definitely was not saving very well, but then again, it sounded like neither were you. <laughs> I guess I'll also give this bow to Carlac, since no one else can yeah. really use it. It's a long bow. Let me read the burnt journal. <laughs> uh, yeah, she should be able to. Yeah, she's got martial weapons and simple weapons. She can equip, like, everything in the game, I'm pretty sure. Turns out, that's what you gotta do. Uh, so now there's just some metallic boots. Cleaver. I think we probably should short rest, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Couldn't hurt. We're about to have like a boss coming up, so we probably need uh, than nothing. I'll feel full health. Where are those bardly magic items? So far, I mean, again, everything's been very like physical fighter. Um, <laughs> if you talk to the bard girl uh, back at the grove, she's got a bard musical item that you can pick up. At least it's something, because yeah, right now it's just like... I feel like it has been mostly just you and Karlak that are like, okay, well this would benefit us the most. <laughs> it's mostly because they are requiring like, like it's like medium armor gloves or something, and it's like, if you ain't got the proficiency, you can't even use it. I mean, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. It's... Eh. It's definitely a weird thing that this game has done. Where it's just like... You're kind of just locked in to... Like, oh, everything's kind of fighter-based. So the boss fighter is like... Uh, right... Like right here, or over this way. Fair enough. And this is like the thing where we definitely want to be. I'll probably quick save here. Because we'll definitely want to be sneaking to get a surprise attack. I will not confirm or deny. Whoops. Confirm or deny if that will work for me. <laughs> I see. What Ace you want to do, probably, is you want to take Carlax and she's got those boots on, and uh, hold down Shift when you're walking to see the the cone of vision on the face spider matriarch, and you want to kill all of uh, these eggs like that are over here, because she will hatch all those eggs into like mini spiders. <laughs> And then there's more eggs over here, too. Okay. Uh, need you to stay so like behind. <laughs> uh, if you want yourself to stay behind, just drag Carlac like, to the right. Like her, her portrait. Yeah. yeah. Like that. Come on, let's go. So right now, the cone doesn't seem to get the eggs so I should be okay you just don't want to do it when she's close to you because the sound of breaking them uh, which she can do it with her bow too you don't have to do it with um, with your sword you can do it with the sword doesn't matter I guess I'll wait till she moves back I'd go back into hiding I feel like I'm right in a teeth. true I've got this. Shadows don't suit me. 
she doesn't that's like right on the edge of where she can see pretty much <laughs> <clears throat> Just uh minding my own business. Let's turn down the fire. Alright, and then those ones are more tricky obviously because Activated. she doesn't really stray too far from there. We probably could just start it now if you don't want to try to risk doing those ones probably i don't think i would be able to get close enough i mean i managed to do it with a bow i mean yeah that'd be the only way so i would probably just start with uh well first i'm gonna drop a candle if we have one so we can like dip our weapons into it and get like fire weapons I don't think I have a candle. Do you, I think you mentioned you might I have one. I think I have a couple. Um, yeah, drop one like in this general area. And I guess Karlak just won't get one. Unless you want to send her back to like grab one. Well, her weapon is already on fire. <laughs> True, and she probably won't be shooting her bow. Uh, I will split the stack and I guess drop. All right, and then we go and light it. And, uh... Let's see. We'll do yeah. some positioning here. I mean, yeah, like, my weapons aren't very... I'm not much of a weapon guy. <laughs> this is where I'm probably going to go into forced turn-based mode right here. Couldn't hurt. Um, I guess uh, I will still try to dip my crossbow into it. Another trick up my sleeve. Ah, oh, my crossbow's on fire. <laughs> and I'm gonna wait one turn so I can go back into hiding. Oh, wait, I'm already hiding with her, yeah, so I can yeah. just go now and just do sneak attack if I can reach. And then maybe get Gorm a bit closer, too. Never wanted the easy path. Yeah, I might try to at least get you guys kind of within my vision. Ugh, that's just a bit too far away. Just a smidge. Um, okay, I, I got an idea. Uh, hand, just like, go into your Carlax inventory and just hand the spider boots to Monster Star's character so I can go to where Carlax at. And then I'll just sneak attack her from there. She should have the boots. And let me get Gorm back over here before we get found. Sure. Taking my time in the shadows. I'll take this candle with me. The candle. And you should have another candle that you yes. throw down there. I have two candles. <laughs> the halflings look funny when they're sneaking. <laughs> Just because they're short. Don't make fun of us. Seriously, what the heck, man? <laughs> uh, strange. Thought I was using it as well. And <laughs> Who'd have thunk? Uh, ooh. Wait for it to get a little bit closer, so maybe it's in range. Not that way. <laughs> the only reason why I'm being so, like, uh, anal about this is because it's got 125 hit points. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> so it's like I'm just trying to take this as carefully as we can, pretty much. Dipped in fire. 
I'll go for the ranged weapon since I probably might try I mean, yeah, and get a pot shot off. Closing that gap will be unless it does like a huge leap or something. We could technically pass the boots off to everyone and then go over there, but I feel like that's just more hassle than it's worth. Yeah. <laughs> True. It's about as close as I can get. And here yeah. we go. A quick save right there. I don't think <laughs> I could reach even if I wanted. <laughs> I'm still not close enough. Holy crap. Okay, so I have to do it when its back is probably turned then and sneak up to it. I guess uh, depending okay. on the range, you t you still got a few, like, a little bit of space no, that you it's, could... It's, it's, it's like... It's like way too out of distance. It would be right here. <laughs> <laughs> Such a short range Man. for a freaking bow. Yeah, that seems a little strange, but yeah. Pray it doesn't turn around. <laughs> there we go. I guess Carlac will try to make her way over. <laughs> Fail repeatedly. Oh. <laughs> and it missed. <laughs> Good job, Gorm. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Carlac missed too. <laughs> <We're>, <sighs> Nothing will stop. Uh, <laughs> Uh, first thing I'm going to do is hand these boots back to Carlac. I guess Carlac will put them on, unless the game doesn't permit me, which I don't it think... It requires an action, sadly, uh, so... So, yeah, I'll you... I will probably be doing that out of combat, because I have a feeling the spider is going to bolt towards them anyway. <laughs> it might stay on the web, in which case, yeah, that's True. Uh, something we'll have to play with. I'll probably uh, not be so close to Carlac though, because I think it does have some poison AoE. Yeah. So. Uh, and yeah, I think I might try to back up away from you, just in case. Just in case. Uh, yeah. Surprised! Uh, well, this is interesting. <laughs> I don't want to waste an action to put on boots. So I might just rage and take pot shots. Wild magic on self. Vine growth. Until the end of your rage, flowers and vines sprout. Uh, making difficult terrain. For everyone other than the barbarian, so that's technically a negative to the party as well. Uh, so I will attempt to get closer into the web. It's, it's not even a good AOE, like it's uh, at least it follows her. Yeah. But like, it's like so small though. Wait, <laughs> it requires. I don't have an action. I guess it was because of the surprise attack. Um, strange. Well, you could risk getting uh, caught in the webs, I guess. True. I could. But you can't. You can't even swing though, because you don't nope. have an action. Right? I would just kind of be cutting her off, which I guess wouldn't hurt. She'll probably just ethereal jump wherever she wants to go. Anyways. True. It is a phase spider, so yeah, I might just stay where I'm at. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, those eggs. Uh. I really 
wish I had an AoE. <laughs> I guess I could throw something. <laughs> Uh have this eh eh <laughs> and I proceed to back up what <laughs> yes <laughs> what? I'm in the web <laughs> jump you fool <laughs> Uh, I guess good enough, I guess. I'm gonna see if I can knock this spider into the Underdark. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, it fell on a web. Well, never mind. It cheated. <laughs> I didn't even see that web there. <laughs> yeah, it, it looked like nothing was there until only when it landed on it, which feels like... I don't know. It spun it in midair. It, it spun it before it fell solely so that it would survive. God dang it. Do I have a feather fall potion? No, but I had feather fall if I knew you were gonna. Well, I mean, it would be nice to just jump down there in its face. <laughs> True. What happens if I jump down? <laughs> How much falling damage would I take? 15. <laughs> I would take 8. 7, potentially. If I can, like... Why do you take such less? Is that a gnome ability? No, it's Karlak, so she probably just takes half. Oh, half to... I'm yeah. assuming, but she would also fall prone. Yeah, I might just have to dash. I'm dashing, too. Mm -hmm. Just go down God, the I still can't even reach her from there. She'll probably just jump again. Probably. Yeah. I was more concerned about our rogue situation. <laughs> just ah, uh, just stay here by yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. Man. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm on a misty step. There we go. I got True. a yeah. roll of misty step. But I wasted my dash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe you want to reposition while you're down there. <laughs> well, I got an idea. I'll so I'm not wasting my dash. I'll go ahead and hit this spider once. I almost got entangled on the freaking webs. <laughs> Mid misty step. <laughs> Action surge. Give it a whack. And Plus, yeah, they're all burning anyway, so you probably wouldn't even want to really walk into that. <laughs> I'm just going to, like, get in range for an op opportunity attack on them if they try to get out of the fire. They're only burning for a turn, so... But, yeah. Obviously, they're gonna do the old... <laughs> well, isn't really this needs... mighty interesting? <laughs> there needs to be a cooldown on that freaking ethereal jaunt. <clears throat> um... Hmm... I do not know, aside from just doing damage, so maybe that's just what I'll do. <laughs> I could do Tasha's on it, try to incapacitate it, but... <laughs> um... Oh, what to do, what to do. I will probably just dissonant whispers at the second level. Yeah, just 
deal some damage. Um, and yeah, I guess could go down there with you, but I feel like, yeah, doesn't matter where I go because they'll just find me anyway, so. Here I will remain. That one died from the fire. Spider exploded. Did. I really want an AOE spell. Do I have a scroll for that? I am cursed. Yes, burning hand. Uh, they need a 13 to save. They rolled an 18. Well, they only have like 4 HP. This is probably going to kill them no matter what. Yeah. Even if they do save. Aye, aye. It's just murdering all of them real quick. Um. Boom. That was just a shot in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely very amusing. As Karlak this entire session, I haven't been able to go into melee once. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so it's I hate probably just gonna jump away again, but <laughs> it is yep. it is frightened of me, I guess, yeah. The <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> How far do you think I can throw Alchemist Fire? <laughs> if I could stand on the web. Uh. One day I'll catch a break. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> well, uh, it's like right on the edge. Yeah, no, it's not going to do it. Um, hey, you. I can't even cast a spell that far. Great. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, you want that feather fall now? <laughs> right now, I need the jump spell. Well, all I got is feather fall. <laughs> uh, uh if, if it jumps down, I suppose it would be nice to have it again, but it's hard to tell where it's gonna go, you know? I guess I'll do it just in case, because, yeah, I can't do anything yeah. else. <laughs> Uh, I can heal you. I can attack this thing with a ranged attack. Which would require me to move on the web, so I'll probably just get... Yeah, you'd probably get stuck. That's I'll where I'm get at. Stuck. Like, and it's at disadvantage, so it'd be a one and quarter chance of me even hitting it. I have no idea what to do for Gorm right now. Second wind, at least. Pray. <laughs> Pray, exactly. What are some of my cleric -y things I have? I'm gonna start burning some of these webs, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna <laughs> cast Minor Illusion. <laughs> Cause why not? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe Minor Illusion could help. Maybe you just naturally want to get close to it. Right? Who knows? It's a cantrip. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh. Carlac is getting still royally screwed in this department. <laughs> Guess I'll walk over here. <laughs> Thank Maybe shoot a web. Shoot a web too. Wait. 
but not enough movement to shoot. You just need to shoot up, you idiot. <laughs> oh no, Carlac. <laughs> well, I can't even shoot the web. This is a fun fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't help with the fact that it's like, oh, you can't shoot that. You need to go around it. And it's like, what? <laughs> I don't think my, uh, I don't think my thing worked, <laughs> but I can jump. We. <laughs> uh, Tasha's at the second level. Dang. Well, <sighs> going great. Good. Man, the camera is like. Guess I'm dashing. Just so that it can teleport away. <laughs> I'm in melee range, buddy. Can I, like, pommel strike you? Not enough movement. I don't think I have a single thing to throw. So, here we stand. <laughs> I'm at least close to you, buddy. You're on difficult terrain. You'll never financially recover from this. <laughs> Says the, the teleporting spider. Screw it, I'm just gonna go for these extreme disadvantage hits here and maybe I'll get lucky. I mean, yeah, a pot shot I guess is something. I tried to, uh... Oops, I just... Do something off of my hot bar there. Better lock that. Roll it. Should probably lock mine as well. <laughs> hey, I actually hit it at a 35% chance to hit. Yes. It's all coming together. <laughs> Ironically, this fight hasn't been hard, it's just been, like, annoyingly slow, because we're just constantly running around chasing it. <laughs> Harlack's gonna get immediately swarmed by a thousand spiders. Ah! <laughs> Waiting for her to like dodge all of yeah. them. Yeah. The Queen's Rap. Spider rab. Queen's Rap. Ripos. Ripos again? <laughs> nah, you can't double reaction. Uh, I'm running low on start. Ah, missed. Death! Well, at least it's got disadvantage. Uh, yeah. Guess that's it. <laughs> what is the Spider Queen's Wrath ability? Gains an additional attack, strength increased by two. Not crazy, it sounds like. An additional attack on a boss monster is a little crazy, but could be worse. Man, I really wanted to just cleave, like, all of these spiders. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well. Distraction.
Uh, they rolled a 19. They need a uh, 16. Uh, yeah, I don't think I would be able to cutting words that. But I have two. I guess I can always roll the dice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. post again. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta gamble. You heard it. I just gotta kill off the baby spiders. However, will I handle fighting the baby spiders? Badly slowly. As I shove one to death. <laughs> Could I, in fact, do that? I'm actually. Uh, uh. <laughs> I did technically do it. <laughs> I shoved it to its death. Well, now we got the poisoner's robe, which isn't useful for any of us because we're not wizards. Cool. Although I put it on my monk because it looks pretty cool. <laughs> it looks neato. Uh, what exactly does it do? Uh, anytime that you cast a spell that does poison damage, it does an additional 1d4 poison damage. Oh. Uh, which is not very useful, but... I mean, I might eventually have a use for it, because eventually I can learn what wizard spells. Yeah, but then you'd literally be wearing a robe, so you'd be losing Truth. one AC. I would be losing <laughs> armor. Also, uh, we can't go this way because all the spider webs were destroyed. <laughs> so I guess we all gotta. We're trapped. I'm going to try way. to jump over to grab this amethyst without accidentally jumping into the. <laughs> if you did cast Featherfall, we could actually jump into the Underdark from here, though. Uh, I did, but I think it went away. So, I would have to cast it again. Oh, I'll feel nothing. that one later. But, uh, yeah. But I suppose we can go get you your special loot. Uh, sure. Or whatever, whatever it is, a flute maybe. Couldn't hurt. Have a chat with the old lady. Uh, we could probably just fast travel there, couldn't we? Pretty. Do we need I don't to? know if we can fast travel in this area. We might be able to. Oh, uh, let's uh, see. Emerald Grove Envi Environs. Yeah. Yes. Poof. Followed by a very long load time. Also make sure to save there so we don't have to do that battle again. <laughs> I've noticed it's not been asking me about my Wrath of the Storm. True. Which is concerning me. I feel like there is a bit of a confusion going on with the game that I have the repose it only knows how to do the repose and so i think once we long rest again i'm going to have to probably choose a different with uh, uh cleric subclass because it didn't seem to be mixing well with my multi-class <laughs> it just here. doesn't work <laughs> either that or i just get i just get rid of repose as one of my uh superiority dice options but i really like repose so i'd rather just switch True. Switch to us, cleric subclass. Unless there's like some really weird use for it that yeah, something's just not like, oh, it only works, you know, against this target. <laughs> Is it because I don't have channel divinity charges yet? Maybe. It doesn't, say it, it doesn't say that it requires a channel divinity. It just says that it's just your reaction. That's it. Uh, that is weird. Words of mine will turn. Oh, that works. 
Either way, I'll probably just try going for light domain, I suppose. She's singing to a bunch of squirrels. Lady, you don't want to see what happened a few feet from here. Yeah. <laughs> My compatriot who's not arrived yet is not the biggest fan of squirrels. He really doesn't like squirrels. <laughs> What's up for discussion? Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. There's not a lot of conviction Words here. Of mine will change. No. Uh, what did that poor instrument ever do to you? Uh, we gotta be nice to some people, so I will, I guess, try to bardify. When you call the last light down. Uh, continue singing. <laughs> Hey, rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. Wait, that's it. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I'm I'm sensing a musical session, which uh, Larian likes to do a lot for some reason. <laughs> I like to show off in, music. They did, the, they did this in the Divinity as well with Losa. It's definitely funny on how drastic it changes in sound. <laughs> I, the, I, the only part, yeah, that, that I don't like is the awkwardness of the characters that are just like mm, standing just there. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I have an excuse to be like that because I was like, um, I technically helped. <laughs> Which will definitely be very funny if she just is all like, wow, I wrote this by myself with no one's help. <laughs> You have trouble with the words, and then you come up with this, just like, you know... Like, ah, I've pieced it together. You're like, are you even a bard? <laughs> are you just lying? What trickery is this? Can I steal your jester outfit? I'm going to stare at you judgingly <laughs> from afar. He's got, he's got a really creepy stare. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody in this game does, where it's just like... You Your have this... guy especially, because he's got like a little bit of eyeliner, Ah so like... <laughs> oh, yes, and you and your face paint. Nothing's odd about that. <laughs> it's a half-orc with face paint. You're, you're a gnome with eyeliner. <laughs> have you seen your character smile? <laughs> he's not meant to smile. <laughs> The game just makes him do it. I think the funniest thing about the, the gnomes and halflings, and I imagine dwarves, is you don't look up. So, like, everybody's just kind of looking forward. How long does this go on? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Are we supposed to space bar this? <laughs> I don't think we can. Stop! <laughs> you're only you're like repeating the same words over. It's, it's over good to know that we're having a concert here. Like, okay, this will be a 15 minute event. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that went on just a little too long, I think. It was the entire song, which I think is kind of the weird part. Yeah, and it was like it'd be better if there was like uh, you know like different verses and like a chorus, but she was singing the exact yeah. same thing. <laughs> uh, who's the song about? Lihala. My teacher. That is a very long pause. <laughs> and friend. Sorry. Damn it. Uh, say, say 
nothing. <laughs> Say nothing. What's the matter? No, I want to be very oblivious. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> they all died. They haven't played at all, if I'm honest. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. Man, that's a loud lute. There was so much blood. Uh, I feel like I gnolls are pretty, it. like, obvious. Uh, <laughs> yelling hyenas. Yeah. Hardly a unique tale. Uh, uh, I'm sure she'd be proud. <laughs> she'd yell at me for that meter and make me play it over and over again. She's and got like a exactly ruler. I'm going to do. Slaps you. <laughs> Finish the weeping dawn for her. I have a long way to go. Maybe add some more lyrics into you. it. Yeah, you know. Uh, I needed this. Sounds terrible. I'm sorry. The, mo the song or the <laughs> hardly a unique tale. <laughs> we just double up on it. Uh, you've come up with a fine tribute. Thanks. Lehala made me love music. You're like, Gorm, quit trying to influence me. <laughs> feel the thrill. I don't think Gorm's even in this conversation. Died. It's just you and Carlag. <laughs> You're like me and you're like we're listening, but you're very far away. Me and Monson Star are too far behind. To perfect a song, the Weeping Dawn will be my gift to her. Thank you. I, I needed this. If you say so. Inspiration. Inspired. Now, in order to get her uh, thing, it's in this chest here. I think you might have to <laughs> actually pickpocket the key off of her. Yeah, it is locked. Um, huh. Let's see. Let's see if she's got the key. I'm gonna quick save. Or I maybe try talking to her again. And I... But what if she just keeps singing? It's still rough, but my song is getting there. I will talk to her. Oh. It's still rough. Oh, yeah. But my uh, it's unpickable. We can steal her loot off of her back. <laughs> cool. It, it does, it does, she doesn't have the key, though. Well, no, I just mean, like, is it pickable? Oh, yeah, let's see if we can go pick it. I didn't even think about that for some reason. Unless she's like, you there! <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum! <laughs> Which is definitely pretty funny that she's just like a few feet away. <laughs> it's like, don't mind me. Here you go. You got the cap of curing. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also regain 1d6 hit points. Well, it's something. Now you have a fancy hat. There you go, Shorticus. I will wear it before Gale eats it. Gale will never eat that. <laughs> it says he will, it's but you know, like <laughs> I think we should dye the hat blue. Yeah, it it couldn't hurt. I'm gonna go buy some blue dye. <laughs> Whoops. I just take We got our book. priorities straight here, not like, you know, doing quests or like getting experience. It's like we need some blue dye to match up your your outfit with your blue hair. I'll take this kiwi. Uh maybe talk to the squirrels. While you're getting dye, I'll talk to the squirrels. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Please. Oh, there's also a strange ox here that you can speak to that's uh that's probably useful with your speak with animals true her singing it's awful terrible squirrels don't like the singing uh, she's terrible yeah sing for them improvising lyrics how can we stop this dreadful song a half-formed verse from devil's tongue uh yes. sure yes that's it 
Finally. Oh, this guy actually uh, has better armor for me than the Gidianki plate, so I suppose I will buy away. this while I'm here. Away. It's time uh, to chainmail plus one. It's time to upgrade. It's time to give uh, Lazel her armor back. <laughs> yeah, she can finally wear her armor again. I don't even know what she's wearing right now. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, okay, let's talk to the ox. Or all the ox. Oxuses. And we can get, we can get, or we can just hand this get the Yankee plate to uh, Carlag. But I think I'll just buy this scale mail plus one for her, so Lazel can have her armor. <laughs> I will talk to a strange ox. Never mind, I'm <gasps> running out of money You're again. You're addressing me, a humble ox. A humble ox. How quaint! There's something strange about this ox. What is it? <laughs> I think you're so far away, I can't even get guidance. Yes, I'm very I, far away. I can't extract the guidance from far away. Uh, I could... Like, I want to say I can roll a 10 with a plus 2 arcana. But or you could wait for me to go up and give you guidance. At this point, I'm yes. <laughs> Who knows at this rate with this game. There's no reason for me to keep this smoking pipe, but I'm doing it. <laughs> for aesthetic. Because maybe I'll find, like, tobacco when I'm in Baldur's Gate. I would like to think you could find uh, tobacco now, but... The problem will be more or less, can you smoke? <laughs> I'm on my way. I'm eyeing this ox down. There you go. I have it, but it doesn't say, but I'll take its word. 16. Didn't need it, but hey, good to have it. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. There's more than you that meets the eye. What's your secret? Uh, <laughs> whatever your secret is, it's yours to keep. No, I, I, I'm... You are... Something is off. Uh, fine, I've heard the tieflings are going to butcher one of, uh, one of you for food, so your secret will die with you. <laughs> Yes. Now, now you should have the guidance at least. Deception. Yeah. I have so many numbers. And you can use friends if you want to charm the ox. True. True. You probably should be fine at, without it if you don't want to worry about him realizing you charmed him. I'd like to think it'll be okay. You but got a plus four, a plus two, true. and a plus two in guidance. So like, it's almost impossible. <laughs> But it came close. <laughs> Success. <laughs> I'd so love to see them try. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. No. Uh, that's all I have to say besides. Is this the final boss of the game? <laughs> <laughs> Moo. Moo. Nothing here for Funny. you. What about you guys, Bordox? What do you have to say? What's up with that guy? Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Oh, that rocks. guy. <laughs> uh. Ant, are you calling me small? If you do not like your form, then choose another. That is what the key is. Uh, of this place you can do. test these different dyes with your hat. To hunt Fair them. enough. Bears to test. A lot of variety teeth. to see but all which me, would look best. <laughs> all the colors only of the rainbow. Oxen, only same old hair. And they're pretty cheap, so and I cannot I don't really even eat it. Care too much of because the horned ones hide their shiny them bits or inside. I guess it couldn't hurt to. Uh, just keep them on hand, just in case. 
shiny bits. The tieflings put something in your hay. <laughs> you complain a lot. <laughs> Hiding things. Thinking they're clever. This ox Not doesn't seem clever. bored. This ox just seems Sometimes I eat the like shiny bits <laughs> and they have to very, go looking for them on the other I don't end. know. Thoughtful. <laughs> A hungry ox. Be gone. I am hungry. Well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, well. That was eventful. Anywho, let's see these dyes. Hail green, light blue, sea green, ocean dye. Ocean sounds... The more interesting, so we'll try that one first. Uh, that looks mighty brown. Interesting. Those is it's not a bad mix. No, it matches the green. Weather. And yeah, it's just definitely funny. Of like, ocean. <laughs> it's like. Looks brown to me, but... <laughs> it's the brown coral. <laughs> I won't judge what you think the ocean looks like. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll hang on to them, or... I don't know. I also handed on... You can hand it back if you want. I handed the Get the Yankee half plate to uh, Carlac, which should raise her AC by one. Yes. It would give her disadvantage on stealth checks, but I don't really think she's looking to be stealthy. Uh, we've also still got the spider step boots. She can either um, put those back on, or I guess Gale could eat them. <laughs> Gale can eat them. We might need them later in Act 2. I guess I'll but who knows. throw them to you. Uh, I got a bunch of syllables. I guess I'll just kind of throw your way. And of course the dies. Uh, and I suppose, honestly, with the time that it's being, probably wouldn't hurt to kind of wrap things up anyway, but... I need some time anyways to think about what we have left to do, really, because I think it's basically just the goblin camp the Gith Yankees and the Underdark. Yeah, I was kind of wondering that myself, of just like, aside from trying to search and just like wander around. Yeah, as far as like the main things to do in Act One and the missing shipman, which I think is part of the Underdark, or maybe not. No, it's not. It's different. So we got the missing shipment, the Underdark, the Goblin Camp, and they get the Yankees, pretty much. And the Underdark itself is like a whole separate act, it feels like. like I mean, <laughs> It yeah. takes a while to get through all of that. It's such a large area. Well, so, we can definitely end it there. I mean, yeah, what with you with oh, wait, the respec? Oh, so first, I, I, yeah, I want to, I want to, well, I'll respec off stream. I mean, yeah, that, that's kind of what I was thinking is like, most of the things we got to do is like sell... Uh, respec. So, uh, yeah. We'll end it a little bit early there. Um, but, yeah. Still super fun. Um, I have a hat. Which isn't too bad. Uh, when you inspire an ally. Yeah. Like, I definitely seem Thank to be God. leaning more towards the Healy part. So, it kind of fits. No one wants to talk, I'm glad. <laughs> and Gale doesn't want to eat shoes. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Gale doesn't want to eat shoes. <laughs> but, uh... Hopefully if all goes well, we'll be doing this more, uh, tomorrow. Uh, hopefully... We, I mean, eventually we might want to do something to break up just playing Baldur's Gate all of next week, but I know this week I wouldn't mind trying to at least, like, get through a lot of Act 1, maybe even enter Act 2. But yeah. It's my general thought process. Um, but yeah. 
I will see everyone tomorrow at 5 p.m. EST. See you then. Goodbye.